Alright, what's going on everybody, Slim here, and uh, welcome to today's video on the channel. And I'm just gonna be honest and say it, I've had it up to here with Wiz. Um, no disrespect towards the devs, obviously, in this video, of course. Just for months, ever since the launch of 5th Age, I've been fighting this battle of how badly designed the year was, and... I made so many videos about it, everybody knows about the problem, whether you want to admit it or not, it is a problem. And I'm just, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, you know, I'm tired of queuing up and I'm tired of seeing my Rasulka and my S'more do no damage at all. Meanwhile, you have a life and a an ice out here having no problem doing damage, right? Or death as well, like de death is what Storm and Fire should be right now. Like de death's gear template right now, that is literally what Storm and Fire should have. But yeah, I'm just like really checked out a whiz. Um, I'm not going to be streaming it, I don't think, probably. I might stream it every couple of days, but I'm not streaming it every day anymore. Um, I just, uh, I don't got it on me, I mean, to be honest with you. I just don't. I just really don't, man. I know a lot of other players in the community as well have quit the game. Uh, you know, that they just saw Ice get 80 resist with uh, 150 damage, and they're like, yep, screw that, I'm not playing. Uh, but I, I decided to, you know, stick around for a couple of months to, you know, try and help people at least and maybe the devs would change things, but uh, they just really don't want to at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm not like fully quitting Wiz. I'm just not playing it until they fix their game or until there's like new updates for me to try the meta and give uh, some more feedback on what needs to be fixed essentially. I'll probably be shifting more into uh, commentary type of videos, I would imagine. So expect more of those on the channel. I do enjoy making those quite a lot. I like I feel like 90. He is dead. But yeah, a lot of these Storm and Fire mains have just quit because of how stupid and balanced the gear is right now. And like I said, I think, I think it's time for me just to hang up the gloves and, you know, uh, I, I've done the good fight. I've done the fight for the people. I'm, you know, really happy and thankful for everything that's happened to me and the channel. Um, again, I'm gonna, keep up I'm gonna keep uploading. I'll still be active. I'm just not gonna be posting as much PvP until the game is better. I just think uh, it's time to step away from PvP for the sake of my mental health and uh, just time as well. I just I feel like I'm wasting my time with PvP right now, which is kind of ridiculous. It's just like I'm much happier spending my time on other games for the most part right now, which is unfortunate because yeah, I like was a lot. Uh, what are these guys doing? And what pisses me off a lot about this is there's people in the community that think Storm and Fire are fine, right? And then there's people in the community who think Storm is fine, but Fire isn't. But then you ask them why Fire isn't, and then it has the same problem as Storm. So, the people that want Fire buff but not Storm, they, they can't do that. They would have to buff Storm too because it's a gear problem. And I think of a lot of it boils down to people just sucking at playing Storm. Now, I used to think Storm was good when I sucked at being Storm, you know, when I was bad at it. I thought it was a really good school as well. But now, even on my, my bad matchups, right, my fire, overtime fire beats Storms, right? My life beats Storm, right? Like, I, I, I've just gotten good at playing the matchup. If you fuck up, yeah, you're gonna die. It's, it's, that's the school identity, you know? If you mess up, you're gonna die. Accept that. Quit bitching about it. Objectively, it has shit stats, no utility on its cards, you can't deny that, and the health is horrible. Like, you literally cannot deny these things unless you're biased and you can't see it, I'm sorry, it's a fact. So I'm just really disappointed with uh, some of the PvP community and just the devs in general as well, to be honest with you. Um, th that's just really where my head is right now, and like I said, I'm not... There's been so many other content creators that have quit because they just don't like how PvP is. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. It just, it, it's just the part that gets me is it doesn't make any sense. Like, that's the part that gets me, right? A lot of people like to make fun of Rishambo. I don't mind Rishambo, but I want the game to make sense. And it doesn't make any sense right now. Like, I think the only PvP content creator left is, like, like Sauce that uploads every day of, uh... 
PvP content, and he's been doing it for a while. He makes a living off of it. So like, good for him. I'm happy. Sauce has helped me out a lot. I appreciate it. But I'm just, I'm just so emotionally checked out, and it's like, it, I feel like part of it is burnout, but the other part of it is if the game wasn't bad, I wouldn't feel burnt out. You know, I, I could keep pushing to make content, but I, did, I just don't feel like I can right now because of how you know, poor, you know, the decisions are, right? It's just so crazy to me that, proportionally speaking, an ice and a life can do the same damage for less pips. So technically they have the higher damage for pip because of how the stats work right now, right? It's just, it's crazy, bro. Like when you do the math out, that's the truth. That's the reality of the situation. So if there's any devs watching this, um, uh, what what you need to really look at is the resist and pierce correlation and you need to make better gear for 150 that's that's the two things you guys need to look at with the gear right um if an ice is playing a storm and you trade open hits right like a shadowhorn and a Rasulka, the problem is the ice has like 13 more resist left over when it, it shouldn't right the offensive schools naturally already have less utility, so that that should be favored, right? The trades should be favored in, you know, their way with the Pierce Resist Correlation. You can at least give them that. So make the Resist Pierce Correlation either function differently or make it about even. So if I'm hitting an Ice, they have 12 Resist. If uh, an Ice is hitting me, uh, I have 12 resist, right? It should go both ways, if not be slightly ta 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 talented, oh my god, tilted in the, the Officer Scrolls' favor since they have little to no utility, unlike, you know, ice and light, right? So yeah, that's, uh, that's two solutions I came up with that the devs could do. Um, I also, I think Storm just needs more health as well. Uh, fire, 9.5. Uh, I think that's a fine number to settle at, as long as the other stats are fine. I don't see any problem with that, but I think Storm should at least have 9k, uh, with pretty much any respective build. So yeah, solutions, uh, bump up Storm's health, uh, either if you want to keep the current system with Resist Pierce, you need to, like, bump up the Pierce a lot, a lot for Storm and Fire to compete with that, that ratio we are talking about before. And it doesn't just go for Storm, Storm and uh ice or life and fire right it goes for any other matchup as well it's always slightly in the res the the favor of resist when resist is unpunished right now right so you can either give a, a lot more pierce to storm and fire or you can change the resist pierce correlation so it works a bit differently or you can nerf resist basically that's basically the options the devs have available right now and until something happens i'm I, I'm I'm done. I'm I'm just done, bro. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll still be playing, you know, new seasons, covering the news, and you know, reporting on what's broken in the meta and whatnot. I'll still be around there. I'm not just gonna disappear off of the face of the earth. I'm just uh, I'm not doing PvP anymore. I'm not gonna stream it unless I absolutely need to for the content on the channel. So. Yeah, I, I really think that's everything I had to get off my chest. I'm just uh, extremely upset with the some of the PvP community with their lack of understanding and the biases. And I'm pretty upset with the, the devs for letting this problem, you know, escalate to this and go on for so long, really. I know the devs aren't bad people. I know they have good intentions and stuff, but... Uh, uh, I, I'm not dealing with this anymore, not until stuff starts to change, so... Yeah, uh, I don't know guys, I... Again, I'm not, I'm not, this isn't a farewell, it's just, uh, I'm done with PvP for now, so... I'll, uh, I'll still see y'all tomorrow on the channel, obviously, daily uploads here, that's not going anywhere, but, uh... I definitely expect to see a lot less PvP on the channel, I'll say that, um, at least into a new a new update comes out, that's uh, what y'all can be expecting, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out here and uh, get away from my computer, you know, get away from Wiz, be happy, be productive, you know, and yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching this far, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, thank you for being here, and uh, as always, take care guys.